Okay, let's see. Looks like we just got the oats turned in. Windrower is still going good. So I think what we're going to do now is we'll let, yeah, we'll let this worker bring that tractor back to our place. And uh, I think I'm going to actually use that fent to get started on the baling. But what we actually, before we do that, though, let's actually jump in the McCormick here. And we're going to offload the wheat and completely fill up our chicken silo and then see what we're left with. But I'm probably going to take this to the to the train station and just store it there. It depends upon how much it is, I suppose. Well, no, it doesn't because it's all chicken feed for us. So, no, oh, looks like we nailed the end of our stuff there. Our canola. That was probably me. All right, so anyone coming? Nope. That's a nice little pile of wheat for us, man. We're not going to have to buy chicken feed for quite some time now. All right, so is this going to fill the silo completely? That is the question. I think it might. We'll see, though. Even if it doesn't, needless to say, well, I've already said it. No, it didn't. Okay, look. So we still got a nice chunk of grain left over for the future. So if we go to here and... No, not there. Here. Look at that. We're 100% full. So our silo holds 9,000 liters of grain for our chickens. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Um, now, why don't we see if we can... Very carefully back out this way, so we're not going through the Thule's. Uh, nope, you need to go that way. Small movements. Small movements. Nope, still got to keep the tongue going that way. Okay, now start coming back this way. It's managing the angle of the trailer tongue. That's what this is all about, guys. Easier said than done, though, man. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so now, what do we do with this? We have, we still have 7,400 7, and change liters. We have almost another silo full, which is just amazing. I, let's, let's look at something here. How much do silos cost? What is, what's like the cheapest silo we can possibly get our hands on here? Okay, this one is 40,000. There is this $10,000 5 million liter silo that comes with the American Farm Buildings pack. And it's the same silo that's actually attached to our barn, except for that that one doesn't work. I just I feel this is way underpriced is the thing. And if I paid what I think this is probably worth paying for, I can't afford it. So we're not going to take the easy way out. However, this one, this is a, what is this? This is a 500,000 liter silo. It can store seeds, fertilizer, lime, and salt. Oh. No, no, that, uh, we need one for grain. This silo is for storing harvested goods. This one is for bulk goods. That one's for consumables. This one is way too much money. Is that it? So so, so we'd have to dump $50,000 into this. We are, we're going to have that and then more when we're done with the contracts. We don't have it right at the moment, though. 
Uh, no, I think I think the train station's our best option right now. I really do. As much as I'd like to store this on our own property, I mean, the only other option is to it's to buy another trailer to store in. And you know, we do need a trailer. It's just that what if the grain is in the trailer at the time that we need it, and you know, and we can't fill it up, putting all put it all in the chicken coop. That's the downside to going the trailer option. This very inexpensive Welger trailer will hold 8,000 liters, and that's just enough. You know, the other question is, how do I get it in there? I'd have to rent an auger, I think. I don't know how else I would get it in this trailer. Unless we dumped it in the train silo and then came along and offloaded it into here. That's probably how we would have to do that. The other thing that's kind of nice about this Welger trailer, though, considering the inexpensive price, is you can reconfigure it as a flatbed, and that would be ideal for our pallets. Uh, we, we have the other trailer, of course, but I think we could probably fit our full lettuce load on here if we triple stacked and also, um, you know, put on the back of the pickup. That's not really the main reason why I would get it, though, but it's just, you know, something to consider. The main reason is we're getting in as cheap storage. But, again, we'd have to pay $13,000 for it. How much would it cost to lease? It would cost more to lease this than it would just to store at the train station. So the train station's the, the answer. It just plain is. That's all there is to it. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this down to the train station and store it. And we will have to pay rent on it. I think I think the rent is $50 a month for every 10,000 liters. Uh, we only have 7,000, so this should cost us less than 50 bucks a month, which isn't too bad. If you consider what we would have to pay if we were if we were continuing to buy the chicken feed, you know. So yeah, let's run this down to the train station. Uh, which one is closer to our house? Hmm, we have this one here or this one here. They're almost both the same distance. So yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go down to this one then. Someday we'll have our own silos on our property, but we're just not ready for that yet. One thing at a time, baby. We are playing this game in hard mode, and so we have to make smart decisions as we progress because we don't want to we don't want to uh, overdo it either. Field 74 is finished with the cultivating, okay? Let's uh we'll have to deal with that. Oh, you know what? I went too far south, didn't I? Well, that's all right. Here, let's this we don't have to do this immediately. Let's get the worker going on something else because we're paying him. He's just finishing up this last little bit here. When I take over for the worker, it lifts up the cultivator. I'm going to tag the end of those crops, but it's not going to actually hurt them. Okay, let's go into here, and we are done with this cultivating contract. And we're also done with this little harvesting contract, but we don't want to turn in the big one yet because we're still using some of that equipment. Okay. All right, what's left for cultivating? We've got um, 53 and 56 are going to be the next closest and the next largest. So 56 is right across from the shop. Okay, so I want you to go to... Um, let's have you stage right here, and then I'll get you lined up once you get over there. Okay. 
Don't run me over. Okay, let's get back to this. It looked like our uh, windrower worker was still still working on that, but getting close. Then I'm going to send the AI up to the north fields to get start working on cutting those fields while we get started bailing on, on our big hay field. Well, it's not ours yet, but it will be soon. Worker B, okay, I'll bet you that's probably the windrower. Okay, so let's deal with that, because again, they're on the clock. You're heading to our, your destination, and the windrow is done. Nice work. Very nice work. Okay, let's fold this up. So I've got to do all the baling and all the picking up myself. So let's go over this way. Um, mm, yeah, let's go this way, actually. It doesn't, I guess it's not going to matter at the end of the day, but I'm keeping the AI tools on this end of the field and my the tools I have to use on the other end, but again, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but that's the way we're doing it. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. Turn this off. Um, I think... The New Holland's doing the cultivating. Let's go grab the McCormick and have the AI use the McCormick to do the mowing on the north fields. Because I want this tractor here. Well, no, wait a minute. What are we, What's the Fint doing right now? Oh, I have the Fint. I'm taking the grain. Yeah, okay. No, I don't have the Fint. What do I have? I must have the McCormick. Okay, we'll have the, we'll have the Fint. Okay, I know what we're going to do. Sorry, I know. I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm just trying to figure all this out. <laughs> try to figure all this out um we're finished with this trailer actually so let's just kind of drop it off over here for now i'm just gonna drop it off here we'll use the the fence or have the ai rather use the fence to get started with the mowing in the north fields so let's run this out there and get the mower hooked up to it and we'll get them started Too many things for my old brain to keep track of. Don't run over your canola. Okay, so yeah, I've got the JCB here. So let's send you... Looks like our cultivator worker is staged and ready to go. So I want you to go to 18 and stage yourself right here. Okay, let's go to our cultivator. And we're going to hit the sign. Go, 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 go. Oh, we saved the sign. Okay. You know, I wonder if I should send him this direction just because he's going to have more space to turn around. If he'll, if that works, I mean, that's technically really not the direction I think they should go, but let's just try and see what happens. Good. 
nice and lined up here. Okay, go to it. Very good. Okay. Back to you. We'll eventually make it to the, stra uh, the train station to drop our stuff off. So yeah, we have almost another full, <coughs> excuse me, full silo of grain here for our chickens. So it's going to be quite some time before we have to buy any more chicken feed. And, you know, it might even work out to where we may not have to ever buy anymore if we can just kind of keep collecting it like this. We could even, you know, conceivably have our own wheat fields just to support the chickens later on down the road. It would, it would only need to be a small field. Or either that or we expand our chickens and then do a big field. E either way would work. But, yeah, I should be able to just store this here and then I just have to pay that rental fee on it until, you know, until I use it, right? So... Hopefully we're far enough ahead here. Oh yeah. All right, so if we go to here and we select wheat. Uh, no, sorry, here. It shows that we have 7,441 liters in storage. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then if we want to pick that up in the future, then we just do that from here. So I think it's time now for us to start baling. Uh, let's get... I can't actually directly get over to my field from there. Or to my property. So let's cut across through here. I might be able to actually go to the other train silo and load from there, too, even though I offloaded here. We'll have to test that theory. Or you guys can tell me in the, whoop, tell me in the comments if that's actually what happens. Our worker's probably at the north field by now, I would think, or getting close anyway. Oh, just ran over some deer. Fortunately, the deer, like everything else in this game, is impervious to damage. I heard a speculation. Um, I can't remember. It was it was a, a YouTuber. I think it was a YouTuber. That the reason the Giants don't let you, you know, cause damage or wreck vehicles or run over people is because this game actually has an E rating. And if they introduce those kind of mechanics, they'd probably have to change the rating. Oh, which kind of makes sense. People would start to reading the game more like Grand Theft Auto and doing crazy stuff like that, which of course is not the intent of this game anyways. Okay. So we're going to park the McCormick for now. We might need it later. We'll see. And we want to get up to... How are you doing? You're doing good. You're doing good, man. Uh, not here yet. We want to get to you. Okay, I want to do the outer part first as usual. Um, why isn't that starting? It makes a noise like it's connecting the PTO, but I don't actually see a PTO being connected. Oh! 
This this tractor doesn't have a front PTO shaft. Really? Yeah, that's the problem. How oh, how interesting. Okay. Who'd have thunk, eh? Well, I guess we are going to use the, um, the, um, whatchamacallit, my red tractor, McCormick. I guess we are going to use the McCormick for this job. Yeah, because they, I had the, had them use the JCB for the other mowing, so that's why that actually worked. Huh, <sighs> Okay. All right, well, I guess not all tractors are created equally, right? Uh, what do we want to do then? We could take this back to 71 and hook up the bale tray, or not the, uh, the pickup trailer. But that's kind of a moot point because I have to do both of those jobs anyway. We could trade places with this and the New Holland, because the New Holland's got a front PTO. And have this do the rest of the cultivating. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, okay. And the New Holland's actually not very far from here either. So let's do that. This will actually pull that cultivator more quickly anyways, because it's got higher horsepower. Ah! Stop, you crazy guy! Alright, I want to send you back up to uh, field 18. Where are we at? We're right here. Yep, that's the New Holland create job. Go to... And just, I don't know, stage yourself right here. And then I'll come up and get you fixed up here in a second. Okay, let's get the this guy lined up. It's looking pretty good. All right, go to it. Oh, actually, I want to see something. I just want to see how fast this tractor will go with this cultivator. Yeah, see, it goes nine miles an hour, whereas the New Holland can only do seven because it's a little bit underpowered, the New Holland is. That's good, though, because this is a better tractor for this job anyway, so it'll get done quicker. All right, now, um, I guess... We need you to get up to the field, and we can get started with you on the baling now. So let's disconnect this and go grab the baler. Yes, indeed. This is my favorite tractor in this game because it goes 45 miles an hour <laughs> plus it's a cool looking tractor and it's a large tractor too i don't think it has a front loader attachment though but oh does it even have a front pto yeah it does that's something we're definitely going to have to be what you know take into account in the future if we buy a tractor see if it has a front pto All right, so we got the big uh, Coon square baler here. Let's see, it should, we want it to do the 240 centimeter bales. Those are 9,000 liter bales. Whoops. Perfect, okay.
I think I'm gonna go along and get what we can of the outer windrow. We might have to do the windrower again because it looks like the AI pushed that last bit of hay out a little too far. Let's see, yeah. Alright, yeah, we'll just have to we'll do one more run at the very end. Not a big deal. So that leads me to believe that maybe the next time. Maybe the next time we, we shouldn't windrow the outer row and just see how the AI handles it. We'll try that and just see what it does. All right, I'm just gonna keep working the main rows and then I'll I'll clean up the you know the loose spots later. But I want to stop and I want to go check up. Yeah, you're almost done. I want to go check up north here and get this guy going. That's better. It works better when you have a PTO shaft. PTO hookup. All right. Let's um unfold you. Turn you on. Love it when a plan comes together. Start mowing right about here with the rear mower. I'm going to try and work it out too to where I keep this mower to do my field too before we turn everything in. But eventually, I'm planning on owning this mower. I'm just watching the sales for it. If it comes up on sale, we're buying it. If I don't have enough money to buy it, I'm gonna take out a loan. Because it's $75,000 brand new, and I just wanna see if I can get it used. It's quite expensive. Oh, hold on. Are we supposed to be silaging or haying this field? Glad I thought to check that before we did the whole doggone thing. So we're doing 18. Uh, yeah. Th okay. So that we're good. I just wanted to set it to windrowing if, uh, you know, it was going to be silage. Okay, what about field 19? Is that hay or silage? 19 is silage. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is control Y. Okay. Let's do the outer edge of this one too, but this is going to be a silage field. Okay, we'll change it back to open mode and have the AI finish up this field here.
All right. Let's see. How is our cultivator doing? That's us. He's stuck in a tree. Okay. Yeah, he's actually not stuck in the tree. Very good. Next cultivation job. So we are finished with this one. We have four more to go. 53 is really close by. Okay, 53 is down over kind of close to us, our farm. I think we can actually squeeze out over here. Okay, have at it, dude. Do me proud. Do me proud. Okay, back to baling. Yeah, it's not going to take this one very long to finish, but we should be able to get a few more bales made while we're waiting. There we go. Look how dirty this tractor is already. And we're not done with it yet. It's got a lot more work to do. You know, if one of these comes on sale, I might be tempted to buy that one too and take out a loan. Before this series is over, I'm going to own this tractor one way or the other. Let's put it that way. <laughs> one way or the other, we're going to own it. Yes, indeed. I like these square balers so much better because you just go. You don't have to stop. You just go. We're going to own one someday ourselves. They're pretty expensive and all the other equipment that goes along with them, but we, it'll happen. That's the other thing that's going to happen before the series is over. So we're going to have a square baling set up. All right, let's check on our workers. It's just about done. Nice. And how about you? You are done. Beautiful. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to finish mowing the rest of these fields up here because they're all pretty small. And then we'll be finished with the mowing. Well, the mowing of the contract fields. Uh, I'm also going to use this to mow my fields. Uh, are there any more hay as opposed to silage fields up here that we need to cut? Let's take a look. Okay, so 13 is hay, 14 is silage, 15 is silage, 16 is silage, and 17 is hay. So 13 and 17. Or the two we got to do is hey. Okay. Let's get that knocked out. All right, everything else should be uh, silage. Let's just double check. So 14 is silage, 15 is silage, 16 is silage. We have already done 17 and 18. Okay. So we'll configure this back to silage or windrowing mode. Um, sure. Raise it up, too, until we get over here. Okay. Let's 
finish it up. Okay, that takes care of the contract mowing, uh, but as mentioned, we're going to also use this equipment on our own fields since we still have it in our possession. Um, and our cultivator guy is probably finished too, so I'll tell you what, let's check on him first. That's me. The other me. He's stuck in a tree again. <laughs> Did uh, Looks like he missed... A little bit back that way. Whoops. Or, yeah, a whole strip there. Okay, well, let's turn around and finish that up then. We're probably getting pretty close to being done on our cultivating contracts. That one is finished. So let's turn that one in. And then we got three more cultivatings to do. And they're all on pretty small fields, too, it looks like. Uh, so two is going to be way up in the northwest, 23 and 27. Let's see here. 27 is right there. And 23 is right there. Okay, so... And then two is way up there. Why don't we have you drive up to 27 and stage yourself right about here. It's Sophie. Sophie does good work. Okay. And then we want to go back to here and get the mower and the New Holland back to our farm. Um, I might just do the mowing later myself on my farm. Just because my field's so wonky. Uh, the two out in front of the farmhouse aren't too bad, I guess, but they're so small that by the time I get him started, you know, two minutes later, I'm going to have to go back. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably just handle all the mowing myself on my own property. 